Just taking a quick look at this Blue Eddy X60. This model is specifically for CPAP users. So, you know, you might say, why would you, know, why would you just not buy one of the regular power stations or, or any other brand's power station? Why would you buy this model? <laughs> you know, that's like specifically for CPAP only. And in fact, there's no inverter here. There's no inverter. So it's just all DC output. We'll get to that here in a second, but the main reason is it's going to give you more runtime. They've kind of optimized this thing for DC output and specifically, you know, 12 volt, 16 volt, maybe 24 volt. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your CPAP uses. They got you covered here. They got all those outputs. They're actually including every cable that you're going to need as well. And they label them too. The type of people who are using CPAP generally are older people. So they want to try to make this as simple and as easy to use. There's, you know, there's no app with this unit. In fact, you know, they don't even mention solar charging with this thing. Even though the DC input does, they do state, for those of you who are curious, they do state 12 to 26 volts. So surely you can do like standard solar panels with this thing, regular 18 volt solar panel. You know, is it MPPT? Maybe not, you know, but even if it's PWM, you could probably still do it, right? And they do say up to eight amps, okay? So, you know, you can get in 200 watts too is the, is the total cap. So it's actually pretty decent. I mean, this is 614 watt hours and that's going to give you somewhere around 80 to 100 hours of runtime depending on the model here, as you can see. And that is with, you got to turn off the humidifier. <laughs> you got to turn off the humidifier and the heater. Those things, those things are, it's going to use much more power if you have those things on. So, you know, if you're really in an emergency situation or whatever, or you're just out camping or, you know, you can, depending on how long you're going to need the power of this thing, you probably might need to turn these off. So right there, the heater and the humidifier, if you leave those off, they're saying that actually this is like 10 to 14 nights, you know, so that's, that's an extended time period, but you know, maybe you really want those features on. So let's kind of get into why you would really want, I'm going to kind of demonstrate here why you would really want to get this unit instead of one of the other power stations. So basically let's just get the drawing board out here. You've got, you know, the normal wall plug for these CPAPs is, it's a little DC converter box, right? So it looks something like this and it's got the plug on it. And you plug this thing right into the wall and then, you know, here it'll hook up to your CPAP. So yeah, you just plug it into the wall. That's great. <laughs> That's great when you have power at home. But if you're using this, these kind of, you know, portable power stations, backup power source, anything that's running off of a battery, the battery is DC power. So in order for you to power your DC powered CPAP, <laughs> you know, you might think, well, that, that should be no problem. But guess what? You know, if you don't have the right voltage, then it's not going to work, is it? <laughs> so you might say, you know, who cares? I'll just plug it, you know, I'll just plug it right into the AC outlet ports on my portable power station. Well, guess what? You're going to use the inverter in that case. And as I've talked about in all my other videos, you, the second you turn that inverter on, depending on the power station here, but it's going to be using somewhere between 10 and 20 Watts, just the inverter. So just having this section on, not powering anything. This is even before you plug anything into these outlet ports, you're going to be using 10 to 20 Watts probably. So, you know, that's going to, that's going to actually, that might even use more power than, than the CPAP itself, especially if you turn off the heater, you turn off the humidifier and you're not going to be wasting power. You're not even going to be tempted to use the inverter. You don't need it. It's going to power your CPAP directly. And as I mentioned, you're just going to get a ton of runtime on this thing. And you know, if you're specifically looking to keep a CPAP going, yeah, this, this starts to really make sense. And this thing isn't like totally stripped out. I mean, this is, they actually put this display screen on here that they use on some of their power stations. Now it is the last generation display screen, but it's still good. I mean, it still gives you all the information you want, input, output, watts, 
the actual percentage. I mean, some of their older Blue Eddy models, they didn't even give you the percentage. So, and by the way, this thing can, you can charge this and discharge it at the same time. So it does support pass-through charging. Now, you know, if you're familiar with these power stations, you might, I don't know, you might find this disappointing. There's, there is going to be a power brick. And this unit does get LFP batteries, LifePo batteries. These are kind of the, I would say these are probably the ideal batteries to get in any kind of power station, portable power station right now. You know, these aren't the same batteries. You know, if you're concerned about getting this thing and you've heard about, you know, EV, electric car fires and stuff like that, these aren't, these, these aren't the same batteries. These are actually safer. They're less volatile. <laughs> you know, they're, they're just less likely to have an issue. And you do get more life cycles out of these, which means you can use this thing more. You know, maybe you want to use this thing a couple couple of nights a week. Maybe you, maybe you need to use it every night. You know, you'd be fine. This thing will still last you many years. And a nice little bonus here, they do give you some USB ports. So, you know, if you want to charge up your phone, maybe you want to charge up a tablet, iPad, I don't know, laptop, something like that that uses USB. They give you a 100 watt USB-C. I'm really glad to see that they included that. And they do say, too, that you can output the USB while you're powering the CPAP. The only thing they do note is you can't power two CPAPs at once. So you can only use one of these three ports at, at any given time. So if you do, you know, if, you know, if, you got, if there's two of you, you know, and you got two CPAPs, you will have to buy two of these units. And just quickly to kind of, you know, sum this up and talk about, I like to talk about the design of these, these products on my videos. <laughs> yeah, they've kind of gone with the stark white, very simple, very basic design. It, it does kind of give it that medical device look, which I guess, you know, it, it makes sense. So yeah, th this was just kind of a quick overview. Ho hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you found the comparison to just regular power stations helpful and hopefully you understand why this unit, even though it is kind of expensive for what you get for the battery capacity, you know, hopefully this helped you understand that this is going to just give you more runtime for the given battery capacity. It's just going to work better with your CPAP than any other power station. And, you know, it's just going to, it's also going to be nice, lightweight, portable, you know, it's just going to, it's just going to be better really if you are using it primarily with CPAP. So, you know, again, hopefully it was helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.